I forgot my sunglasses today. But we are launching a new division of Tree Shop. It is called Tree Shop Marketing. We will only be handling tree service, land clearing and forestry mulching companies, the stuff that we know, you know, the stuff that we're good at. We will get you leads. We will help you close them. We will teach you everything, basically, if you are a marketing client. But if your boat ain't moving, especially in this market and this economy, I don't really know what you're doing. If you're not working every day, give us a call. We will handle your advertising. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I forgot. Um, I'm only opening this up to 10 companies. If you are one of the first 10 clients of Tree Shop Marketing, you're gonna be put into a giveaway and I'm gonna give you my 500i. It'll come with a 20 inch bar and chain, obviously yellow bars and chains. It'll come with a um, 30 something inch. I think it's a 32 inch bar. And I'll ship it to you wherever you are as a way of saying thank you for uh, being one of the first 10. And we might do it monthly after that, might do it quarterly. I do think that it would be nice to get to the level um, where we could do like cool giveaways like goosenecks and um, I don't know, maybe a truck someday. But anyways, we're gonna start small with a 500i um, and a couple bars and chains. It's roughly the $2,000 value. We've done it to the point where we can generate 25 to 30 estimates a day, six day, five days a week. The sixth day on Saturday, she would normally send me on like, if I had to go, it'd be like five estimates. And those were just people who refused to meet during the week, whenever. She would have that scheduled for weeks ahead of time, literally weeks. And like people, would, they didn't stand us up. So if you want that for your tree business, um, we can do that, your, your, your green business, whatever this is called, um, we can do that for you and uh, pretty quickly. If you're a growing company, if you want to grow, if you want to blow up, give us a call. 386-843-5266 to talk to Lacey. She will get your contact, your information, and then I'll reach out and we'll go over some specifics and make sure that we're a good fit. And then from there, it's off to the races. So enjoy today's video. We're on our way to drop Jace off at school. Oh, you don't wanna go to school? He loves school. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> oh, spicy. That's what we're mulching. I thought, I thought it was logged. It hasn't been in a very long time. So that's a big pine now. It's probably 50 inch pine. 259 just got back from the cat dealer. They put, they fixed the AC. It was a condenser went bad after they fixed the hose. So they get that, the 250 hour service, new door. See, no crack. Watch this. Ready, ready. That's closed. If you are a cat guy, you're probably jealous right now. Um, but full disclosure, I do expect it to break um, on the fifth time I close it. <laughs> so it's whatever. But this is a, a fun video because this is a 250 acre property that this company is trying to sell. And let me get you in your spot. All right. And they're trying to sell it. So they wanted to do some um, improvements to the land, that kind of thing, to make it more desirable. There's a lot of land for sale here. Um, so we're going to mulch 10 acres, or a minimum of 10 acres. But they're also going to let me play around on their land. So. We're gonna see how many acres we can mulch in a week with a skid steer. I have two surprises coming up. I mean, you saw the truck wrap, but that was that's not a surprise anymore. Um, one surprise is gonna be here today. We'll use it for the next four days, three days, something like that. And the other surprise will be here next week, and we're gonna use that um, for one day. Uh, that'll probably be a second video, though. AC is fixed. It's chilly in there. Like I'm actually cold. Look, I got goosebumps because I got out here and it's it, it's that hot. It's, well, it's not hot. It's like 75, and in the machine it's probably 60. So uh, we're doing. I marked out 12 acres just to you know whatever. But we're right in the middle of the 12 acres right here actually, roughly. Um, and I just wanted to kind of you know do an update. So this is what we're mulching. That's what we're mulching with. We've done, we've traveled 
2.16 miles today with the mulcher on. So, um, getting work done. I love this FAE. It just spins for forever. Thankfully, you can tell once we got in uh, from the buffer, you can definitely tell it's been logged. So, that's why everything's thinner. Um, they, for some reason, there's these big ruts every 25 feet or so. Can't really figure out what the purpose of them is. Actually, let's get back to Let's get to work. Man, forgot my slogan. Trying to make that my slogan. What you got there, babe? You're the prettiest UPS driver I've ever seen. All charged. Pretty, pretty. Let's go fly a drone. Boom, look at that. DJI Mini 3 Pro, blah, blah, blah.
I broke the um, they didn't break it. But this is the bumper, and there's like this weird edge on the back. I don't know what it's for. When I hit a tree, I go up the tree, and I think it's pretty hard. I smoked it. I was taking it. And down. Yeah, now it's hitting the door. It goes over it. So we're gonna fix that real quick. We'll use this hammer right here. So I actually have to <laughs> uh, redo the site plan a little bit because the neighbor on, over there actually just put an offer in for a chunk of land right here and they don't really want me, um, <laughs> they don't want to pay <laughs> to mulch land that someone else is potentially going to own shortly. So we have to modify this so basically it gets narrower and then we'll just extend it longer. because um, this is very frustrating this patch that I'm in it's lots of three inch scrub oaks which is you know what I mulch but they're like three inches away from each other so it's basically like mulching a, a hollow eight inch oak and it's just real frustrating I feel like all I do is put diesel in the field set in the in this case here and kill trees like it's I've been doing so much this lately I love it <laughs> step out of the machine for this one. I'm gonna get my thinking cap on. All right, but first, boom. Look at Honey Badger. Looking good on a job site. Holy, guys believe it? That's my truck. I can't believe that's my truck. Every night, Lacey and I sit on the porch and this sits in front of the, in front of the house. I don't park it by the garage. And, uh, whoo. Anyways, okay, so. <laughs> GoPro's dead. I left it in the skid steer. 
Good morning. We're back. It's Sunday. I am. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been a long few days. I don't care. We're here because that's what we're supposed to do. I'm going to sharpen the knives. Um, I put a different wheel on. Oops. Put a different wheel on because I needed something a little more aggressive. The wheel that I've been using is kind of worn out. It's just one of these flap diamond flap discs. It does, it did good, um, but I'm pretty sure this uh, pad, I guess, I don't, I don't know, cutting material is uh, better. Um, if it cuts better, I'll let you know right now. Yeah, it cuts better, for sure. Look at that. 